Welcome back to the Ohio farm. It's still August 3. I decided to do this, try and finish this potato contract off camera. Just because I know it's a bit monotonous. But this was going so well that I wanted to put this clip in here because I've really got the rhythm down, which is what's really kind of fun sometimes about farming simulator so I've got the worker helping me here we're on field this must be 14 this is the uh, field for which we borrowed the equipment so I've got I think six strips at either end of the field and I've got him running on the long axis now gives him sufficient room to turn around so that he's not uh, missing any little small bits and the timing is working out really well because uh, about the time I get back from carting a load of potatoes to uh, Butler Ag Ohio uh, he's on his way back down the long axis here and I'm able to get alongside him and offload him on the move there we are we're done I think probably another time we're gonna end up not getting loaded by the time he gets to the end of the field but we'll see so it takes me a little bit of time to cart this because we've got uh, a little bit farther to go to Butler than we did when we were doing Field 11 by Gene's Place. And we'll drive past it here. But what we've got is we're kind of doing a loop. Uh, so he's going along that way. We offload. We come out here onto the kind of the main road. Go over to Butler. Offload it and then come back around kind of the back way over to that field again. We meet him up at the top of the field as he's going down, load it up. By the time he gets to the bottom, we get back onto the road to cart it again. So there's really no uh, downtime where I'm waiting for him to fill up and uh, he's not waiting for me to get back. So the timing works out really almost perfectly. Uh, looks like it takes us about 17 minutes round trip in, in game minutes. So if you look up at the clock, it's 5.16, 5.17 right now. So from the time we offload to the time we get back and offload again, it's almost 17 minutes. And each time we're delivering about 3% on the contract for the delivery of the, of the goods. So just ballparking it, call it 20 minutes. Uh, and we go three times in an hour, even though it's, which would be almost 10%. So we're delivering about 10% per hour. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to complete the contract today before Butler closes again for deliveries at 8 o'clock tonight. So we'll see what percentage we're at here when we drop this load off. So watch up in the right hand corner underneath the money. I should see a percentage after it gets done offloading. So we're currently at 67%. So if we can deliver 10% per hour at 1820, we would be at 
at 1920 we would be at 87 percent Twenty twenty, we'd be at ninety. See, we're not gonna get done today. Nope, <laughs> we are not. Well, I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm not gonna make you watch it. Uh, just uh, keep you here with me till I get back to the field again and show you how we're meeting them and uh, offloading them. But uh, yeah, I was just really happy how it was turning out with the timing everything was kind of working out real well uh it's cost us quite a bit on this contract to have workers working with us full time uh but like i said i think we're gonna pull close to a hundred thousand dollars off this between getting paid for both contracts and excess crop i think uh so yeah even if we cost us five ten thousand dollars to pay workers we're still coming out ahead so you can see now he's getting a little further in uh, by the time i get back but that's okay i'm not quite sure we'll get him or we'll get the trailer filled by the time we get to the end of this strip i'm not sure how much he's got in there and i'm not sure how much more uh, how quickly the offload rate is. We'll see. So when I pointed out the clock, it's 10 minutes since I pointed out what time it was there. Uh, so it must have been about seven minutes to get to where we were. Not sure what time I started recording with you. But you can see our trailer's at 44. It's filling slowly, so, yeah, you know, he doesn't have much more. Uh, I think 53% is where we will max out on the uh, rated capacity of the weight that we can carry in the trailer. So it won't take any more at that point, but we don't have much... Uh, room to go yet. We're at 49. I don't think we'll have a full load. It was working really well for a while. Then I pull you in to show you and it doesn't work quite as well. Yep. We got close. Oh, maybe we can get we can get no. Is he out? He's out. Okay, I mean, we're right almost at where it would be full, so I think next time it won't work out quite as well, but anyway, we're here slogging away. I'm going to keep doing this. I will get back with you, or I'll bring you back in tomorrow morning. And we'll probably end up having to finish this then. But anyway. I'm going to keep working. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. It's uh, September. As you saw, we didn't quite get done last night. You know, if it hadn't been for that rain around lunchtime, we probably would have got that potato harvest done in August. Got just a little bit to finish up. Darn it. Uh, it was going smooth. Uh, the last load I... I was able to deliver with minutes to spare. That's two misses. Last in the sense that that's the last one we delivered yesterday. It didn't complete the contract. Uh, I don't know what the worker did the last time I was uh, delivering, but he wasn't ready for me when I got back. And that slowed me down a little bit. Had a little bit of... I'm going to give up. 
had a little bit of uh, apprehension that I wasn't going to make it. Uh, but I did. Made it in time, but we still were not contract complete. Okay, we've got growth in our canola field. Nice. And we shouldn't see any weeds, maybe save at the very edges. Which I think I see some. No. Really? That big of weeds? Huh. I don't know. Bees aren't up yet this morning, apparently. So I don't know what the percentage yield bonus you get is for uh, having the bees by the canola field, but that'd be an interesting experiment to try sometime. So there is a second um, layer of honey on the pallet, so it must do two crates deep or high. So, yeah. I saw a comment. It was on one of the older videos uh, where someone said, yeah, you should just get rid of that skid steer. But, you know, now that skid steer is going to come in handy for these bee pallets. lollygagging around a little bit here this morning just because uh, Butler's not going to accept any deliveries until 7 o'clock. So it's no hurry to get over there, really. We'll hop in the pickup, head over to the West Place, and uh, take a look at the animals, uh, grab a hay bale to take over for the deer um, before we do that though why don't we take a look at the uh, contracts available we've got two uh, still uh, that we're working on so we could only take one except one more and we'll take a look at used equipment as well Right, so contracts. It's a fertilizing contract on field 21. I don't even know where that is. Field 21. Okay. It's up there. I'm going to accept that. Yeah, I want to accept that contract just because it's an opportunity to make a little bit of money. Shouldn't take too long with the spread width that we have on our fertilizer spreader. Oh, uh, used equipment sale. Nothing new. There's a JCB uh, telehandler like ours for sale, but said we already got one so no point getting another one there's a lot of banging around I don't know what that was all about I like this pickup. Something different, something new. Does seem like really big though. So it's September, we should be able to uh, start drilling wheat and barley now, I think. 
So, yeah, this will be a busy episode. No escape in that potato contract, though. <laughs> it's still not over. Soon, very, very soon. cows also well yeah I think the grass is ready to be cut too yeah grass is ready to be cut here Oh man, we haven't even emptied the um, bunker silo yet. Maybe I should take uh, $60,000 from the uh, potato contract to get the stave silo. Then we could just put the grass in there. And it'll ferment into silage. It's an idea. I don't think about that. Oh, missed some. Didn't we? <laughs> Darn it. How did... I managed to do that. Darn you weeds. They're going to be medium, right? Yep. Medium weeds. Takes a hoe. Darn it. Too bad though, got most of them. Did a good job over here again. It's kind of the same area we missed it last year too. I don't know. got to be cautious about how you do that. Just got s careless, I guess. A little sloppy. This grass almost looks ready to cut again, too. I think it'll go a couple more days before it's fully grown, though. All right, 
that's all the fertilizing contract. Finish the potatoes, do the fertilizing contract quick, and then, then we got a lot of work to do if we're gonna drill our fields, then we gotta well did we mulch? We mulched already, yeah. So drill, then roll, then weed. It's going to be a busy day. And then they've got the grass to cut, too. Oh, man. Oof. I wonder if we should lease a mower again, or... So I don't know what he was doing the last time I was gone. There's like some bits it looks like he's missed. And then... I don't know what he was doing down here. But then again, we didn't have this end kind of squared off, so... We didn't go around the outside on this side. We just did the top and the bottom. Yep, missed a little bit right there, too. Well, I guess the, the trailer's full. They're not ready yet, so I guess I can clean up. I can clean up here. Oh, I'm waiting for Butler to open up. Just when you thought you could get away from this potato harvest, it comes back to haunt you. <laughs> oh, it'll be over soon. I promise. I don't even know if this is worth getting. How many how many potatoes are we gonna get from here? What finished process? The one we just pulled up. Okay. Three five seven three. Nope, up to three five nine one. That's, that's something, right? Kind of go along this edge without hitting the trees. I think so. close also. All right. 
right, so contract on field 14, which is the field we're in right now, it's 100% delivered already. And so we're just getting the crop off the field. There will come a point where it'll say you've fulfilled the requirements of the contract. And there's still going to be a bit of crop on the field because... Uh, we delivered the crop off the field 11 against this contract. But once it says that we've, we're contract complete on what? Field 11 delivering stuff, then everything after that we will get, we'll be able to collect payment on. I'm not sure whether to hire a worker to help me out while I'm delivering or not. Or should I just jump cut it for you? That may be what I do. I don't want to have to pay worker anymore. Uh, so it looked like it's about $450 per hour is what we we're paying. Because it, uh, when it turns over from an hour, usually it'll say, "Okay, this is how much you paid a worker during that hour." Even though the, yeah, you know, the money ticks off as you're going along. So I'll just keep, uh, I'll keep doing this till I get a full grain tank, grain tank, hopper, whatever the, can harp, yeah, whatever, you know what I mean, you know the thing, no joke, so yeah, I could go deliver now. But I'll go ahead and get this full. And I'll go over and deliver it. I'll come back, fill up again, take that over there. We'll see where it goes. So we'll jump cut to the delivery of the next trailer load of potatoes. Because you've watched enough potato harvesting, I think. First delivery of the day for the potato harvest here at Butler. We'll see what uh, what it tells us. 94. So two more trailer loads should complete the contract on field 11. One in the harvester right now. I think we'll probably be able to collect on one or two trailer loads as excess crop. We'll see. I am so over this potato harvest right now. I hired a worker to run the harvester back there at the field while I'm delivering this. I just want this to be over. <laughs> I'm tired of it. So, a uh, couple more deliveries and we should be able to... Okay, so we're collecting money now. All right, so, yeah, shouldn't be long now. What's that? 
4,714. Okay. Driving back at Butler. So we've completed the delivery of all the potatoes. So this whole trailer load will be ours. There's probably another one that we're getting off the field now. So we got 4714 for the partial of the last one. This will be what a full load's gonna give us. We should check the price actually and see if we can get more somewhere else. Fifty seven eighty two. Okay. I get at least 20,000 in excess crop. I was kind of hoping for closer to 30, but. Take what you can get, I suppose. Best price for potatoes right now is here at Butler. Butler's Ag, Ohio, so we'll just keep delivering it here and pull it about 5,700 each load, I think. 5,820. Probably one more. Well, for all intents and purposes, this is pretty much it. There's still some in the harvester. I wouldn't even bother going back for it, but it'll probably pay an hour's wages for the workers, so I'll go get it. Alright, so this is the last of it. I'm not sure it was entirely worth the time it took to go get it, but we did. It'll probably cover an hour's wages for the worker. A little more. Okay, so that's the potato harvest done. Finally. Thank God. So we're up at $242,215. We'll take it. All right. September. Time to get on with the day. We're in the John Deere 4755. We've got the broadcast spreader on the back filled with fertilizer. We're on our way over to field 21, I believe it is where we accepted a contract to do uh, fertilizer. It's gonna pay us about $9,000. Uh, I'm not sure how much fertilizer it'll take. It'll probably take a little. We'll probably make about somewhere between seven and eight because the working width is so great on this fertilizer spreader, so large, something like 42 meters. It should be a real quick job. Uh, so if you have a fertilizer spreader with capability like this, this is a good way to make money. You do have to buy you know, fertilizer product and so on, but uh, fairly quickly, you can get a job done and make some money. So we're gonna get over here, I think uh, 21's just ahead and up to the right. And we'll get that done. I'd like to apologize for the potato contracts. Uh, it took a long time. And it spanned probably uh, parts of four episodes, which is an awful lot. But think about uh, what it entailed and how much it paid us. Uh, 
we got paid close to a hundred thousand I want to say I'm gonna pull up the mini map and it should be blinking that tells me that this is the right field uh, so I should be able to just get in here and start But say a contract on another field might take, a, you know, we could do two or three of them in an episode, but it'd only pay us, you know, 20000 each, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm making excuses. I know it was painful. It was hard for me, too. We'll try to avoid that as much as possible, but kind of the way I play is, you know, I just do what I do. And you're along for the ride. So, uh, if you didn't like it, I didn't see that car over there before. Huh. Uh, if you didn't like it, I'm sorry. Uh, I will try to avoid something being that long and drawn out in the future. But, uh, yeah. We're $100,000 to the good. We had nothing else to do during, uh, really, the month of August. Kept us busy. I guess... Uh, yeah, I could have jump cut the start of it, showed five minutes of it, and said, okay, we just made a boatload of money. Um, I don't know. Not quite sure what that what the answer is. as I was doing that fertilizing contract that now that we've got growth in our field we can fertilize it as well we want to do it early in the growth stages before because uh, we have crop destruction on before our wheels would damage the crop because we don't have narrows which would kind of avoid that we should be able to see a color change. It's tough. Sometimes. You can see it's a little darker. The soil a little darker. Looks like we missed some weeds there, too. So uh, that's another thing we can do is we can get the uh, sprayer on the back of here. And we can, we can spray our weeds, too. I don't know if I got everything. I...
So I took another fertilizing contract uh, way over by Butler Ag, Ohio. I'm not going to do it right now. I'll go get it a little later because we just fertilized two fields. So that's enough fertilization for right now. I got to go refill the fertilizer tank at the co-op because it's the best price I can get for it. But right now we're going to grab this sprayer. Have to move the JCB out of the way. I think it's still got herbicide in it, I'm not sure. We get close enough to it. Does have herbicide in it still. And I think this is all the herbicide that we have. We can control the width of the uh, spray, how much of the boom that we're using. So we will do that too. So we'll open the whole help window. So we'll bring it down to right at the middle and then we'll drive right over this right there. Put it all the way out and we'll go over this here we'll put it down to the middle we'll just drive right over that there and I think I think there was one little bit over on this side as well. We'll get that while we're out here. Then we won't have to come onto the field again later. There it is. We'll do the center strip. We'll just drive right down it. There we go. So that's the weeding taken care of as well. We took care of the fertilizing, the weeding. This field is done. We shouldn't have to do anything else uh, until it's time to harvest. I'm gonna avoid driving on it here. I'm just gonna go. We'll leave the weeds at the edges. It's not worth really hassling over, I don't think. Go out the neighbor's driveway here and won't mind. Got a big old rear twins. Taking up the road.
Whoop. So I've got to use the the JCB on the seed drill. Because of the horsepower requirements. I think that's where we're I think that's what we're ready to do. Okay, it is September. We can seed wheat or barley right now. beacons on we'll pull up the help window so I can remember how to change the seat depth there we go Sure, we're topped off with seed. Ideally, we want to do this with the telehandler, but it's not over here, so... Do the best we got. <clears throat> okay, so we're out of seed. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go get some more. We could barely get it out of the... trying to think of what we did on what field where last time around. I know I said we are going to get started on uh, drilling wheat in the fields, but I also realized that, man, i got to do something about that grass. The sooner I get it cut, the sooner it can start growing again. Uh, so we can get an additional, you know, a couple of cuts off of it. So I want to do a silage cut, I think. Man, I should just drive down the side of the road traffic's pretty heavy um, I think I'd like to just do a silage cut off of it and unfortunately it's the only more that we have so this is what we're dealing with everybody loves a super H though right who doesn't love the super H I love the super H So 
so what I figured was I could see if I could get Mrs. Nebraska Jim to um, use the sickle bar mower and <laughs> the Super H on the grass field well I'm in the nice comfort of the uh, JCB drilling the field I don't know seems like a fair trade off to me uh, so I had the stave silo put in I couldn't forego it any longer I had to get it done uh, this is where we put it. It's kind of tightened up the yard area a little bit. I don't like that. It's a little cramped feeling now. It's not as open as it was, but I think that's the best place and the best orientation for it. Although maybe it could have been... I don't know. That's what I did. Uh, I... I don't know what mode it's called, uh, but it, I did that and it didn't put the like the asphalt down around it like I like did. I kind of you know messed around with it a couple of times. Didn't save the game. I almost put in one of the aluminum, you know, the metal ones. But this is really more the look that I wanted to go for the concrete stave silo. Uh, so I think it'll work. I think it looks good. I do, you know, wish we weren't so cramped, but oh, we are. But I think it looks good. So there it is, $60,000. We'll just have to deal with it. So I think to get, wow, that tractor's huge compared to this one. to get her started. I need to give her some, some boundaries on where she needs to try and get to. So we're gonna do that. We can get in here tight. We're gonna get up close to the fence. This is gonna this is gonna give a lot of grass, I think. Did we roll this too? Not sure what all we did to this grass. <laughs> the idea is to give her guidelines of what to go by and then we can come back and get all the rest of this later come off of what's considered the field anyway, so let's just do that. The episode's been running really long, so we got to wrap it up here. This will this will come into play, I guess, next time. 
uh, again, apologize for the potato harvest. A bit much. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I do appreciate you hanging out with me here at the Ohio Farm. So you have a choice of what to do and how to spend your time. And really appreciate the fact that you chose to spend a little of it with me. And I hope we see you again next time here at the Ohio Farm. Where we are now working in our own fields again. Hopefully we'll have something to show for it. Not too distant future. I think she should be able to work with that. Don't you?